Hi, and welcome to this Unity 6 tutorial. Today, we're going to take our first step into game development by creating a simple Unity project and writing our first c -sharp script. Let's get started. First, open Unity Hub. If you want to ensure Unity 6 is installed, go to the Installs tab to check your version. If it's not there, simply head to the Installs tab and add Unity 6. Once that's done, click on the Projects tab and create a new project. In Unity 6, the Universal Render Pipeline is the default, but previously, we had the built-in Render Pipeline. Since our first game is based on the console, we don't need the Universal Render Pipeline. You can choose the 2D template from the built-in Render Pipeline, or you can choose 3D. It doesn't matter too much which one you choose. Now, give your project a name, like Guess a Number. Next, select the location where you want to save your project. Here is your organization. We're not connecting it to Unity Cloud, and we won't be using version control for this simple game. Finally, click Create Project. After some initialization and loading, Unity will open. You'll see a lot of panels. I'll close some unnecessary ones to make things less confusing for beginners. I'll also rearrange the console window to the right side since we're developing a console game. I'll move the game view here to save some space for our console. Now, to create a C-sharp script, there are several methods. From the Assets menu, under the Create submenu, you can create a Mono Behavior script, or you can go through the Scripting submenu. The easiest way is to right-click in an empty space within your Assets folder and choose Create c -sharp Script from the submenu. Name the script something like Game Manager, or simply Game. Once the script is created, you'll see its details in the Inspector panel. To open the script, you can click Open in the Inspector while the script is selected, or you can simply double-click the script file. Now, Visual Studio will open as the code editor for Unity. When the script opens, you'll see a default structure. Start method runs when the game starts. Update method runs every frame. We'll dive deeper into what they do in future videos. But for now, let's write our first line of code inside start. Debug.log, welcome to guess a number game. This code will print a message to the console when we run the game. Now save the code and switch back to Unity. To run the game, click the play button here. You'll notice the view changes from scene to game. However, we're not seeing the message we wrote in the debug.log statement. Let's stop the game for now. The reason our code isn't working is that every mono behavior script in Unity needs to be attached to a game object in the hierarchy. Currently, we have a main camera and directional light in the hierarchy which you can see in the scene view. We can attach our script to one of these game objects, or we can create a new one. Let's right-click in the hierarchy and create an empty game object. Name it something like Game Manager. Now, to attach our script to the game object, or Game Manager, select the Game Manager, and in the inspector, click Add Component. Then, under Scripts, you'll find your script. To remove the script from a game object, simply click the three vertical dots next to the script and select Remove Component. Another way to add the script to a game object is to drag the script file into the inspector while the game manager is selected, or you can drag it directly into the hierarchy. Let's run the game again by clicking the Play button at the top of the editor. Now, you should see the welcome message we wrote in the console window. If you can't find the console window, Go to Window, General, Console, or press Ctrl-Shift-C on your keyboard. And that's it. You've just created your first Unity 6 project, written some C-sharp code, and attached it to a game object. Congratulations on completing your first Unity 6 project. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll dive deeper into different ways of printing to the console and getting user input. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Unity game development tutorials. See you in the next one.